Welcome back to the garage. I've got another one of these uh, watt cycle 12 volt 50 amp hour uh, mini jars. That's so two of them that's 24 volts and I'm going to do something I've been wanting to do for a while. I have this ancient APC 1000 VA UPS system. It is 24 volts. I have used it for over a decade. It is a workhorse. And I've been looking for an alternate to uh, lead batteries for it. So I'm going to try that today. And we're going to do a discharge test and see how it goes. This is one of the expandable models. So it's got a built-in fan in it. Uh, it is meant for this much battery and far, far more. Um, so we're going to hook it up. So the first thing is uh, I need to get these terminals off. Get these wired in series. I did have them on my power supply back here. Uh, for several days at 14.2 volts. I connected them both up in parallel and let them you know, self-balance very, very well. And uh, they're okay to hook up in series now, so let's do that. So I'll take my power supply out of the way. Okay. So I've got them in series. I've got a 100 amp uh, little fuse on here. This comes with the battery packs for the APC UPS. So I've just been using it on all of the expansions that I'll do. Uh, let me uh, scoot these around so I can get the uh, cord plugged into the back here. Okay, and I think this UPS will cold start. You have to hold down the on button. Or maybe double tap it. Okay, we'll plug it in. I've got here a power meter. Now we're booting up. We're doing our self test. There we go. Let me get my clamp meter here and see what we show. Notice it, it went immediately to the batteries full. Let me zero my clamp meter, get it around here. Minus 0.1 amps. Is there a way we can set that? There we are. So it is charging the battery very, very slowly. Uh, I've me measured the uh, float voltage of this, just like the smaller UPS, and it is absolutely perfect for lithium phosphate batteries. So I have over here my all-purpose load bank. This is a uh, 500 watt heater. So we're going to plug that in. Make sure it starts. It's going. And let's uh, I had zeroed the kilowatt hours on the UPS, so we're going to unplug that from the wall. And we're going to let this run. We are at uh, 505, 490 watts there. Uh, 23 amp discharge. So I'm, I'm expecting this to take about uh, two hours because with the two of these batteries, they have uh, 12, 1,280 watt hours combined and a uh, 500 watt heater uh, minus some overhead for the UPS. Let's, uh, we'll let this bake and see what we get for total watt hours delivered. And we're back. It kicked off a few minutes ago. Uh, the batteries got, uh, it's, uh, the case is a little bit warm. Uh, UPS was screaming low battery and then everything kicked off. I'm not sure if it gave up or if we tripped one of uh, the undervoltage protection on the, on the watt cycle batteries here. I'm going to plug it uh, back into the wall. I've un, un, uh, turned off the heater here. 
I'm going to plug the UPS back in and we'll see if it wakes up. I heard the fan kick on in there. The meter won't come on because it won't default to, uh, to power on. It does not show charging. Let me see if it'll turn on without screaming at me. Okay, it shows it shows we're charging the batteries at uh, one amp. Oh, it just jumped to 13 amps. Uh, this UPS has a pretty good charger, that's why I like it. Uh, we delivered uh, 1.024 kilowatt hours, so we delivered uh, 1,000 and we delivered 1,024 watt hours uh, from these batteries through the UPS uh, coming out of the power meter here. So that's uh, that's pretty good. I'll uh, I'll put the math on that up here. But uh, this, is a, this is a pass for me. It, it ran, it shut down, it uh, powered back up when I plugged it into the wall. It's currently charging at a pretty good rate, 12 amps. So that'll be uh, f you know, like four or five hours probably to charge these things back up. And uh, that, power, that power is coming from the sun. This, uh, my garage is powered by the uh, Blue Eddy AC500, including this outlet. So this is, again, all recycled power. And I love testing with recycled power. So uh, this is a win. I think I'm going to put this into use uh, full time for myself. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.